Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. And yet, this is going to be another health update video. Fair warning. It's not, I don't consider it graphic, but if you, you know, are a man watching this, you might feel a little uncomfortable. Or in general, maybe you just don't like talking about this type of stuff. But, um,. One thing I am is I am honest and upfront, and I generally don't sugarcoat things. So it is super early. Back on the road to the doctor's office again. The only bright light in all this is I'm going to Burlingame every five minutes. Can't lie, sort of nice. I went yesterday at quarter to four. I almost backed out of it because I actually had, I'm always in pain in my lower belly thing. But it was a better day. It was like a three, four versus a seven, eight or higher. Of course, you know, every time you go to the doctor, you always feel better. But, um, I went, we talked, she read all the paperwork that I submitted, and some stuff was new that she hadn't seen. One being that my white cell count was up. My, my white, yeah, my white cell count, which indicates an infection somewhere. I don't know how high, I don't know if it was borderline, I don't know if it was super high, we, we sort of just... We were on a limited amount of time. I didn't want to waste her time. And, you know, immediately she hop, you know, jumps me up on the table, hops me up on the table, starts pressing around. Because now it's become, we really don't think this is gallstone or gallbladder related, strangely enough. Once that ovarian cyst came into all this, it sort of became the primary, I don't want to say issue, but it became a number one on the list of four things. And she even did bring up appendicitis that you could have, you could have it. But I'm like, I had dye injected into it and they didn't see anything and they ruled it out. And they ruled out diverticulitis clearly in the report. So I have now stopped taking the antibiotics which didn't do a thing anyway. And in all honesty, I'd rather hang on to them. So if I do get sick later in the year, that was the only thing, not to say it's gonna pull me out of it, but it was the only thing that worked to get me well when I was sick with the flu or cold or whatever I had. But that, you know, fine, I'll hang on to these, not a problem. Plus they weren't doing anything. So, After poking and prodding around and where my pain would be after she pressed down, she's like, this isn't, you know, your gallstones, your gallbladder is further up and your appendix is further right, or I don't know what she was saying, but where I'm pressing, that's your ovary. And I'm immediately I'm like, oh no. No, no. I mean, oh, thank God I looked. I, there's another car. This is the worst intersection ever. It's the craziest thing. It's been this way since I was little. And nobody knows who's coming off the freeway, who's going right, who's going left, and it's a two-way stop. Craziness. Anyway, the one thing I hate and have avoided, and I know this is not good, but I always made my parents a priority and I wasn't like, okay, I got sick. I just sucked it up and you got sick and you got over it and so be it. You know, so I avoided doctors and I never went to doctors. I really never had a primary care doctor. If there was any emergency situation, I would go to the emergency room. Straight up. So the minute I hear ovary, 
female doctor, gynecologist, red flag, fear. It's almost at the dentist level. After yesterday, the dentist has now moved down one. Gynecology moved up to number one spot. So what I'm about to say, if you don't want to hear it, click out now. But she decided to do a pap smear, which I haven't had in a minute. Wasn't happy about it. Wasn't, I, you know, how do you prepare for these things? You just don't, but you never think you are. So I'm like, oh, all right, suck it up, get it over with. You're in pain, you trust this person, you like her, you feel comfortable. Just, you know, just suck it up and do it. So in the process of it, and for those of you that are ladies out there, you know what it involves, sticking, you know, a speculum there. I thought I was going to die. I have never, never, in previous times, never have experienced that pain in my life. So bad that she had to use a smaller one. And I don't know what it's called. She said to, it's called a, like a juvenile or whatever the smallest one is. That I'm supposed to ask for that when I go see the gynecologist, whenever that is. I mean, I was almost in tears, begging for my life to get it out. The worst. Like I said, I would, I would have gone through another, please God, don't hear me on this and don't take me literally. A tooth extraction was more pleasurable under nitrous oxide at my ortho doctor than going through five minutes of that. That's how bad it was. And in the exam, she found I have a one centimeter polyp on my cervix. Ask me how they can see these things, I don't know. I find it disgusting and fascinating at the same time. So that has to be removed. I don't even want to imagine, think about that. She, she thinks it's 100% benign. Um, I guess, Jesus Christ, people, I swear to God. From what I guess it looks like, or I don't know, you know, whatever. So not only are we dealing with being in pain, a potential follicle ovarian cyst, now we're dealing with something else. Which, in all honestly, honesty, I'm just gonna go this way. We don't even know if this is all the cause of my pain. Which, I'm pretty, yeah, why don't you just cut in front of me, asshole? Sorry, but you know. Um, it's just like, really? Really. I just, I just want to feel like myself again. I just want to feel better. And the more I try to feel like myself, and the more I try to feel better, the sicker I get. It's just like one thing after the next, after the next. And I said this before, yes, I know I'm not 25 anymore. Yes, I know I'm not 35 anymore. But, you know, if anybody sort of deserves a break, it's me. Like, I'm over this whole sickness shit. I just want to get on with my life. You know, you just reach a point where you're just tired. You're just tired of things coming up and things you can't control, things you can't sweep under the rug as much as you would like to or ignore, especially being in pain. Okay, so you found this, but I'm not in pain. So let's watch it. Let's 
follow up every six months or three months or every month or whatever you want to call it. But because I'm in so much pain, because it ranges all the time between three and eight, it never goes away. I have to address it, you know? And it sucks. It really, really sucks. So that's where things stand right now. I'm at the doctor's office to get more blood taken out. Thank God. Thank God. They are the most gentle people here. I don't have a fear of needles. I don't have a fear of blood. IVs aren't exactly my favorite thing in life. You know, but this is, um, there's no parking. It's open 8.30 in the morning. Son of a bitch. Oh, yes, there is. Um, is there parking right here? Mm, I'm going to go over here. People behind me probably love me. Um, I, I can't, you know, let this go. It's, it's absolutely, totally, a thousand percent frustrating that you're, you're having to do stuff when you don't want to do stuff. I keep waking up every single day. Please, God, let it be gone. Please let it be gone. I'm just checking around here. Let me feel better. Where are my quarters? Oh, my God. Here they are. I had to go to the store the other day to get quarters. They're like, oh, you're doing laundry. No, I'm trying to park in Burlingame. Um, I'll put two. So, that's where we stand right now. Um, I'm waiting for referrals to go through. I have to get two types of ultrasounds, but I'm not exactly sure if those ultrasounds are at an imaging place or in the gynecologist's office. I'm a little, I'm a little unsure. So I don't know. I'm assuming, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to wait to see. Usually I got, you know, a referral. I mean, I've already gotten the referral to the gynecologist's office. Generally it takes a day for them to process. And lately I've noticed that doctor's offices around here, I don't know if they're hurting for business or if it's become the practice to actually call you. Hey, we've got a referral from your doctor's office. Would you like to make an appointment? It's like that never happened back in the day. You always had to pursue people. Like, you know, I have a referral. Can I come see you? Oh, we haven't gotten it yet. Type thing. So that's where we stand now. I am scared shitless. It's funny. I'm at peace with test results and everything. You know, I don't, I don't understand or I can't explain to you why I'm at peace. What I'm not at peace is going through it. I hope to God, you know, that my doctor's office just had the bare minimum in regards to the exam yesterday and maybe just maybe at a gynecologist office they had more whistles and bells if you get what I'm saying like maybe they had more easier better more comfortable tools um but I don't think so so Please keep your prayers coming. I really, really need them. I, I, like I said, I just, I pray every single night, every single day, every time I think about it, just like my headache, all of a sudden, one day, it was 80% gone. And the previous day I was dying in pain when head pressure. And all of a sudden, I just felt it lift. And I'm praying to God that is a scenario. That for some apparent reason, this will just dissolve. The pain will go away. Yes, I'm going to be more on top of going to 
the gynecologist every year or once every year or once every six months or whatever I need to do versus going through this every 20 years. And spare me the, you should have gone, you should have taken care of yourself. I was a little busy. I was just a little bit busy to put myself on the list. So, anyway, so I'm going to go right now and get some more blood taken out and then go back home. And my kitchen looks like a flipping nightmare. It is disgusting. I haven't cleaned it. I mean, to the outside eye, it isn't probably that bad, but I am not a slob. I am not a messy person. I am OCD. Everything needs to be clean and put in its place, and it's not. So I've got to go home and scrub everything down and empty the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, clean everything up, walk the dogs, feed the dogs, run a couple errands. Matter of fact, I've got to run some errands before I go home. I know that I'm over here. Milk it for all it's worth, right? All right, take care, everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye.